So, Saram Shayan, Vadali Shloka do, what is, what is the essence of first Shloka for Isha was separation? Isha was Semitam Sarvam, Yetkin, Jagatyam, Jagat, Tena Tekena Bujitaha, Madrada, Tasisidanam. This opening Shloka, the essence of opening Shloka is called Nana Yoga. There are two types of yoga Nana Yoga and Karma Yoga. Only two types of yoga Bhakti Yoga, Kriya Yoga, all subsets of Karma Yoga. Nana Yoga and Karma Yoga. So the first loka is about Jnana Yoga. Through Jnana, understand, renounce what doesn't belong to you and enjoy. Okay? How to know what does not belong to us? Yeah. I'll tell you how to know what doesn't belong to you. So, that which, uh, her, uh, let me answer, how to know what doesn't belong to you, what belongs to you, it never leaves you at any point of time. Simple definition. What is there with you all the time is called yours. Okay? Now all the time you don't have to confuse too much. So you have only three states, waking, dreaming and deep sleep state. Okay? Understand? So husband is there in waking state. In dream husband is there? Maybe Ah, maybe or may not be. So he doesn't belong to you. <laughs> body is there in waking state and dream state. Okay? Waking state body is same as in dream state. So waking state body doesn't belong to you. Okay? Understand? The world is there. So waking state world and dream state world are same. The world doesn't belong to you. Okay? Go to deep sleep. So is there a body? The body doesn't belong to you. Is there a mind? Mind doesn't belong to you. Is there intellect? Does it belong to you? Are you there? Yes. You are there. You are there only belongs to you. And that's called Brahman. That's called God. God only belongs to you or be you belong to God. <laughs> that's the only thing which is there. <laughs> Rest all will come and go. <laughs> okay? So, Nara Yoga means understanding it very clearly and living a life of blissful life. Because once you understand, what doesn't belong to you and what belongs to you, you will not be troubled too much. Something comes, something goes. Ayaram, Gayaram. Ata hai, Jata hai. Okay, but I am peaceful. So that is called Nana Yoga. In a sense, it is called Sanyasa Yoga also. Sanyasa is also what they say. I don't want, live, I don't want a, a family, children, job. I will go and live myself, whatever comes. But don't confuse Sanyasa itself with Nana. All Sanyasis are not Nanis. All Nanis are not Sanyasis. We will mix, start mixing up. Okay, sannyasa means his way of life. Okay, what way of life? I will renounce something so that my less headache is there. So let me have a living myself. That is called sannyasa. There is a sannyasa of two types. Sannyasa of the seekers and sannyasa of the knowers. <laughs> okay. Sannyasa of the seekers and sannyasa of the knowers. Seekers, there are seekers. I want to know God. I want to know Brahman. So all this family, society is headache for me. I will go and take, put a dress and go. They are called seekers. They are actually taking a lifestyle for uh, what you call as uh, Jnana. Lifestyle for Jnana. But they have not got Jnana. It's a long way to go. All sadhana is to them. That is called sannyasa of the seekers. Then there is a sannyasa of knowers. Okay, they already know, they already have Brahmatnana, right? So then they can, it's called Nana Karma Sanyasa. By Nana they understand, I am not the doer, I am not the, this body mind doesn't belong to me, everything they know. So they can be in the family or they can be out of the family. They can leave the house or they can be in the house. Okay, so they are called Nana Karma Sanyasa. So, Dana Karma Sanyasa is called Sanyasa of the Knowers. First one is called Sanyasa of the Seekers. Don't mix up them, confuse them. Okay? Their first category is called they are taking Sanyasa or a lifestyle to get the Dana. The second category is Grahastha or Brahmachari, whatever is that. He has got Dana. Okay? He doesn't have to take Sanyasa. But he has mental Sanyasa. It's not attached to anything. Then he can take a physical Sanyasa also. Why? <laughs> Why you will take a physical sannyasa? Ah, why more hazards here? Nothing has to be done anyway. So leave it. 
So that's the, the person called uh, uh, Yadna Valkya belonged to second category. Yadna Valkya. Yadna Valkya Rushi was there. He had two wives, Maitre and uh, Katyayani. He had Nana. He has considered Mahat Nani. Then one day he said, I will go and take Sanyasa. Okay. Why a Nani should take Sanyasa? Okay, somebody Adnani can take sannyasa to get Nana. That's called sannyasa of the seeker. Adnani, wherever he is, he is already sannyasi. It doesn't matter to him. Right? Physical dress, how does it matter? Lifestyle doesn't matter. Okay? A sannyasi, a sannyasa of the seeker, he is taking sannyasa to drop the work which is stopping him from Nana. A Dnani takes sannyasa because no work has to be done anyway. <laughs> so, yadna Varkya, he has to perform some Yadnas, people invite him for Yadnas, this function, that function. Why Baba, let me take sannyasa. <laughs> there is a sannyasa, no work. So the first loka is about sannyasa. Okay? First loka of Isha Vasu Prishi is about sannyasa. What sannyasa? Nana sannyasa. Or it can be, it can be applied to uh, Karma Sanyasa also. So Karma Sanyasi will go for this Nana. Nana Sanyasi understands this and wherever he is there is blissful, Ananda. Right? So first shloka of Isha Vasya Upanishad is but Nana Yoga. Second shloka of Isha Vasya Upanishad is Karma Yoga. Clear?